Well, achieving success is all about overcoming obstacles and doing the hard work, the heavy lifting. Alexander Vitali found a group of women from Columbus who have just done just that, the heavy lifting. They got the trophy to prove it. Some women bake, some women knit, and some women power lift. It's girl power all the way. We're the pioneers. You can't take that away from us. A four woman team, CrossFit Deprivation, competed in a power lifting competition this past weekend and brought home the goods. Three first place finishes and a fourth. Oh, and did I mention this was their first time ever competing? Got a little bit more in depth. Those who are actually doing the power lifting uh, took it a little bit one more step and actually wanted to do some, some competition. Power lifting thing came up. I was like, oh, that's just going to be a bunch of guys and, you know, they're going to be you know, really big and strong and it's not really for me, but it, I talked to Jimmy and he said, no, you give it a try. This is their first time out and they're already almost breaking records, so it's pretty good. I'm excited to see where it goes and I know they are. Cope puts together a pretty good program, uh, you know, evolves around the actual lift itself or some version of it. Power lifting comprises of three lifts. The squat, bench, and deadlift. So why powerlifting? Maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Within a matter of months, you're a completely different person, or, or the person that you want it to always be. If you mess up, it, it's okay. Everybody messes up. Makes me want to work harder for my next one. Be the best I can be at it. It's always a challenge, and that's good for the soul. The ladies' next competition will be in early November. In Phoenix City, Alexander Vitale, WTVM Sports Leader 9. Worth the wait, I guess. That's a look at sports.